All right, and welcome back to Transformers Book Club. Today we're taking a look at my boy in Spotlight, Six Shot. Now, in case you didn't know, Six Shot in the IDW universe is what's known as a Phase Sixer. There are only a few Phase Sixers who are extremely powerful Decepticons handpicked by Megatron for the sole purpose of going in and wiping out entire worlds. He's also what's referred to as a 0.1 percenter who are Transformers with very rare, very powerful sparks. Basically, normal Transformers are to normal humans, as 0.1 percenters are to superheroes. Or more accurately, mutants, since they're basically born special, and they usually have some special abilities or special attributes. So let it be known that Sixshot is one of the most powerful Transformers around. But back to the actual issue at hand. Sixshot is remembering how last stellar span, he was destroying an entire world by himself. But now he's bored, stuck on this space station with nothing to do, and all his fellow Decepticons are too scared of him to even go near him. That is, except for the Terracons, who normally act like a bunch of lame groupies following him around, but Sixshot has noticed that they've been absent for a while. So he goes and asks one of the other Decepticons, who probably leaked Energon all over himself the moment Sixshot even stepped into the room, where they have gone. Turns out they've gone to some planet, which has now been taken over by a group of also very scary, very powerful aliens known as the Reapers. Sixshot goes there to look for his lost puppy dogs, flying through a barrage of missiles and automated turrets, to find that the planet has been so destroyed that it's not even worth salvaging. He then comes across the Reapers. Sixshot asks them if the Terracons are even still alive. As a matter of fact, they are, but they say he'll have to go through them first. Sixshot seems to hold his own for a bit, but eventually they begin to prove too much even for him. But it turns out they were just testing him. They teleport the Terracons to them and tell Sixshot if he wants to join them, all he has to do is destroy his friends. Sixshot seems to annihilate the Terracons, but it turns out he was just playing with them. The Reapers leave and tell Sixshot that when he eventually gets tired of the Decepticons, they'll come find him. And that's the end of Spotlight Sixshot. Honestly, it's not great. There's this whole thing in here about Sixshot saying how he only feels stuff when he's destroying and that he doesn't care about his fellow Decepticons and that he's not staring into the abyss. He is the abyss. It just makes him come across as like some kind of nihilistic edgelord. When obviously that's not completely true since he did go look for and save the Terracons. It also doesn't help that Sixshot is supposed to be this top tier butt kicking Decepticon that devastates whole planets by himself, only to get his tail handed to him by a bunch of aliens we haven't even seen or heard of before in his own spotlight issue. It's kind of like the Worf effect, which if you're not familiar with it, it's when they have the villain of the week easily beat up the toughest guy around just to show how strong they are. But when they overdo it, it usually just makes the tough guy look weak. In Star Trek The Next Generation, it was Worf who was always getting beat up, and thus where the trope got its name. For you anime fans, it was Yamcha in Dragon Ball Z. And in Transformers, apparently it's Sixshot, once again in his own spotlight. Oh well, hopefully when we next see him in Devastation, he'll get to show off how awesome he really is. But before then, we've got some more spotlights to go through, starting, ironically enough, with Sixshot's rival from the Headmasters cartoon, Ultra Magnus. So I will see you next week for Spotlight Ultra Magnus.